Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Shari J. I know it's been a minute since I posted the video. We're just going to jump right into this one, which is my top five plants of the moment. So starting with number one, it is going to be this small plant here. This is the watermelon Deschidia, Deschidia ovata. This is a four inch pot. Now, I know this is a small little plant. You're like, why is this one of her favorite plants? But let me explain. So first of all, I wanted this plant ever since I seen Sharina's video. By the way, if you're not subscribed to Sharina, definitely subscribe to her channel. I mean, she is probably my number one plant tuber at the moment. I love her channel so very much. But she had a full pot of the Deschidia ovata. Oh, Deschidia ovata. Why is it so hard for me to say that? Anyway, she had a full pot, like the full plant. And I was like, ever since I've seen that, I have been dying, just looking for this plant everywhere and I couldn't find it. So Gardens of Babylon, which is a nursery in Nashville, a few months ago when, I think their store had just opened up, but they had online ordering for a long time, you know, when the pandemic, pandemic <laughs> shut everybody down. And they had this on their site, but it didn't have a picture of it. And it said it was $14.99 and I was like, oh my God. I can get it on the ground. I have to get this plant. So without seeing a picture of it, I bought it. I picked it up. They had curbside ordering. Like you couldn't, they had to like either put it in your back seat or the trunk. They wouldn't even give it to you like in your hand. So I let her put it in my back seat and I drove down the street, parked, and then opened the bag up to see what it looks like. And it was a small little cutting. And I was so upset. Of course, there's like no refunds, of course, but it was really my fault. I'm like, I shouldn't have bought a plant without seeing it. Like, that's why I don't really like to order online anyway, but I really, really wanted the plant. So I even posted it on Instagram, like, do you guys think this is cutting? And most of you guys are like, yeah, you got robbed, basically. So I was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> and I paid $14.99 for this. But I put it in a, a southwest facing window and it's just, just been growing like crazy since then. I mean, look at all this growth. I was just so happy about it because although it's not full pot like I thought it would be, it is still growing very, very fast. So it should get there very soon. And it's just taken off. Like I can't, I can't even believe how fast it's growing, but I'm very, very happy about it. And um, if I end up seeing a fuller pot, I'm definitely gonna get it. But I'm happy that this one is growing. I'm just mad. That they basically gave me a cutting for $14.99. But whatever. I still love the plant. So <laughs> there you go. The next plant that I am loving right now is this Peperomia Hope. And as you can see, I have some crazy growth on this. Um, I will, of course, post pictures of when I first got it. But it's grown tremendously well. And it's just growing crazy. Like, <laughs> it looks so weird. But... This is the Peperomia Hope. I got this for $8 at my favorite nursery, which is Hewitt's, of course. I saw a picture of a full, like, long hanging one on Pinterest. And then I, when I saw this in the store, I was like, oh my God. And I, of course, it's not as big as the one that I saw on Pinterest, but still, this is such a cool looking plant. Um, I'm guessing when I repot it, I'm gonna have to train it to trail downward, but right now, it's in a, it's right next to my Deschidia Ovovado on a windowsill. So it's just growing upwards to get to the light. So it looks very weird, but I love it. And it's fast growing, which is great too. So yeah, I can't wait for this one to grow downward and hang and trail. But for now, it's just, I'm letting this do its thing. <laughs> my next plant is the Tetrasperma. Um, what is this? Something tetrasperma. Oh my god, let's talk about it. Oh, Raphidophora tetrasperma. Wow, I had a brain fart there. Um, this one, I, I think I talked to, I did. I showed you guys this one when I built my plant shelves. That video. That I did that. And, um, I love this. Like, I actually bought two plants and I potted them into this plant, this pot. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm trying to get back in the rhythm of things. Talking to a camera, apparently it's not easy. But no, I bought two of these plants and I placed it into this one six inch potter and, or planter. 
and I thought that if I planted them going in different directions it will make the plant look fuller yeah no it, it doesn't I should have planted them in the same direction but what I find really interesting about this plant is that this plant is putting out more split leaves than this one I don't know why that is I mean it, it puts out split leaves on this plant but it's not as many as this one does I and again I don't know why it I guess it just is what it is but yeah um, I'm not gonna try to re plant them because it's only been a few months but I'm wondering if I should try to get them growing in the same direction or if I just should just leave it like this because I don't know what do you guys think I'm confused I don't know I was thinking maybe I could like chop it up and then repot it so I could look fuller but I really don't want to do that I think I'm just gonna keep it the way it is I don't know maybe I'll buy another one if I see one because I could definitely I would definitely buy another one of these they grow really fast and I love it so much but I don't I don't know <laughs> what to do with this I think I'm just gonna leave it as if, if I see another one I'll buy one because plants arena has some really full rapid afford touches rumors on her site and she stocks them frequently so maybe I'll do that and just leave this one alone I don't know all right so my last two plants are going to be very common plants but I have to mention these so it's August it's the first of August when I'm filming this video and this is the month that everything kind of started for me last year it'll be a year on August 27th and my mom passed away and that is when my love of plants started because I got a plant from one of my mom's best friends uh, when she passed away and she gave it to me and told me to take care of it. So that's kind of how it all started. So this is one of the plants that I actually got in a arrangement that my friend sent me when my mom passed away. And it has grown into a very full plant of its own, which is insane. I still have all the plants that came in that arrangement except for one. One Dracaena that was in that arrangement died, but I I was so sick of that plant, so I don't even care. But yeah, this one has just grown so very well. It's so very full, and I love it. And this is a Diffenbachia. Um, it even has like new. It's growing like new stalks, which is crazy. After I repotted it, these stalks just like started growing. So it's really exciting to see this plant grow um, after all this been through. And I'm just very, very happy about it. It's a very common plant. I see it all the time when I go to Lowe's or Home Depot. But this one just has a very special place in my heart. So, yeah, I, I love this plant. And it's definitely one of my favorites. And that leads me to my last and final plant. And it's going to be my first ever plant that I told you guys about. The one that my mom's best friend gave to me. And it's the umbrella tree. And, oh, it's my very first plant. And I just love it to death. Now, let me tell you though, let me tell you. I repotted this plant in I think June maybe, May or June, I'm not sure. But um, I repotted the plant and it actually had mites in it. And I have never seen that many pests on any plant in my life. Like as soon as I took it out the soil, it was just mites everywhere and I was like freaking out. And then I'll uh, repot it up in the same lot though because you can reuse it, which is great. Now this one I'm really excited about. This is my Burly Marks and I Ew! maybe about a year ago. Ew! And it literally Gross! was doing nothing. Ugh! Like I remember I, I just like put it outside. I was just so scared. I didn't know what to do. So I actually ended up kicking the dirt off the root system, which you should never do that. Ever. I don't know what I was thinking I was just traumatized and I was literally kicking the root system trying to get all the dirt off like an idiot and then I put it in the shower and I showered the roots just like trying to get all the dirt off and I sprayed it with neem oil not dil diluted neem oil like straight up neem oil in the spray bottle okay <sighs> and then I repotted it so it went through a lot okay it went through a lot and I would and I repotted it and I was just I said a prayer I was like Lord please don't let me kill this plant this means so much to me like please just let me <laughs> please just let it live right 
So it actually looked okay for the first three days and then all of a sudden I noticed that some of the socks were dying. And I was like, no. I tried to just keep, keep them there. Like hopefully they would come back to life. They were dead. So I think I lost about three stalks, like three branches. But lo and behold, more started appearing and it was fine. And I was so happy because I thought for sure I was gonna kill the plant because I traumatized the root system. Like, why did I do that? I don't know. But luckily more stalks started to grow and now it's nice and full and I'm very, very happy because that's the plant that started it all. I mean, my mom's best friend wanted me to name the plant Donna, but I just, I can't do that. Like, I couldn't do that. But I love it so much and it means so much to me and I'm just so happy it's still alive and doing well. I mean, it's my first plant. Like, it was this small little plant and that was huge and just beautiful. So, I just love it. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. <sighs> These are the ones in my collection that are thriving. And the next video, I'm going to talk about the ones that are dying that I'm just like giving up on. And notice I didn't name any Calatheas in that video, so that's a hint to the next one. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I hope all of you guys are doing well and taking care of yourself and staying safe. And then with that, I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!